Hi guys, today I want to share with you my experience with the Tesla Model 3 long range which I drove it for the last 3-4 days This is the car, this is the key So let me do a quick tour around I will also put a screenshot with the most important specs I don't want to bore you with that This is how the car looks from outside this is the long range, so it has the biggest battery. This is how you unlock it. Let me open the trunk on both sides so we can check it together. The trunk is quite big, quite spacious. Automatic opening and This is the space you get. Actually, this car is new. I was the first driver driving it. I took it from 21 kilometers. I drove it for the last 1,200, 300 kilometers. Let's get inside. So the quality it's quite decent. I am actually surprised because I never drove a Tesla and I always had the impression that the, the quality and uh, with how things are made and built are not the best. But to be honest with you, I'm quite impressed about the materials, about the touch. Yeah, Tesla is still not a manufacturing car manufacturing. I would see it as a software company. So they do not have so much experience as the other competitors in car manufacturing. But still, I think the quality, as I said, is very decent. A lot of leather, some wood. Let's get through the menu. So controls, you can, everything can be set from the central console. I think this is a 15 inch screen, very good reaction controls set everything from steering mirrors enable recording because it said it has a bunch of cameras which records everything so basically if we go here yeah this is the reg the, the recording from the front one we can go to the rear one left and right pretty good quality i would say of course I have a lot of things it acts like a tablet or phone spotify bluetooth netflix all this kind of stuff to watch so let's get back to this one controls as i said controlling the wipers controlling the lights all this kind of stuff pedal and steering you can control the acceleration the steering mode so basically uh, how aggressive should the acceleration and the regeneration should happen for the batteries for the energy charging I saw the charging only on the driver's side on the left side I know in the Model S you have it on both sides although there is something there on the right side similar to the left side I was not able to open it autopilot this is you know that I'm in Germany the Regulations do not allow to have this autopilot functionality as you have in US uh, So basically you have this auto steer But it's um, not really the autopilot as you get it in US a lot of cameras a lot of systems and oops The things that you may be getting also in other cars um, Locks locking the door, locking the windows and so on. The lights, ambient lights and headlights, display, the trips, action, yeah, safety, service. Yeah, you can check the manuals and everything. Software and upgrades. It's not available or 600 over 600 kilometers range 
in my case I got generally yeah I would say like 500 of course if you drive it with speed on the uh, on the motorway then it decreased significantly and if it's windy we got also some rain in day in, in, in uh, yesterday or the day before and I saw that this is really impacted on the range the best I can get as I said is like around 500 which is decent yeah For starting it, you need to put your card here, press on the brake, it enables in the parking mode now, and driving mode. It's like just like a big toy, like a bigger tablet, I would say, which has some wheels. controls and everything you open it you can yeah adjust it as you want the assistance it detects the lights the people on the road bicycles all the signs and it reacts pretty well one flaw which I saw for the speed signs it not it's not always detecting them properly so this is a thing that I can give feedback to Tesla but otherwise everything reacts properly and fast you have of course charging wireless charging two ports here no buttons nothing here centrally as I was saying quite simple and to be honest with you I like it I mean as soon as you can control everything from here that's all that you expect long range doesn't have the launch control but let's start to do like a launch everything is set in sport we also can activate this slippery start so let's see what we get So, three, two, one, go! In 200 meters, take the big 44 slip road on the big And this is it. <laughs> now take the B44 slip road on the right. It's actually... I mean, I only can imagine how it feels in a Tesla Model S plate. 1000 horsepower, if this, is, this feels like this. <laughs> I 
of course doing this kind of stuff will just make will just you will just lose a lot of energy 